Let me put on some perfume. Got to make this feel as normal as possible. <coughs> oh my God, that was so strong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, we're going to be doing a catch up, get ready with me. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. If you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And now without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So it's uh, been a minute. <laughs> and by the title of this video, yes, it is a catch up, like not the condiment, but like we're catching up as in, I have not been on this platform in a hot minute. And I thought I would explain why, talk a little bit about it, you know? I also got some new makeup. I went and shopped at Sephora because why not? And I feel like, you know, I should definitely do more like makeup videos because they're easy to do, they're fun. And it's not like I have to go anywhere to have makeup on, so. There's that. But anyways, let me show you the makeup that I got the other day. I'm gonna first start off by putting my Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray on my face. Just to liven my face up a little bit. Cause I'm not wearing primer and it's not like I'm going anywhere to justify wearing primer anyway. So I'll, f I'll start off with the mascara that I got. I got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I got it in the mini here. I also got two mini concealers from Born This Way, Too Faced. Too Faced Born This Way concealers. One of them is very light and one of them is my normal concealer shade. So I got the, the, the really light one just to help with brightening up under my eye. I will show you. Got it in butterscotch. Got them in butterscotch. One of them is in butterscotch and one of them is in natural beige. Butterscotch is my shade. Um, natural beige is just to lighten it up a bit. I got the Milk Mini um, Highlight in, what's it called? Champagne. What shade is this? Well, it does not say. It's the champagne one from what I remember. Sorry, I don't know the exact names. And then I got three of these lipsticks, these matte ones from Fenty. This one is Shoddy, Single, and PMS. These are, whoa. These are them here. And then I got the, the clear lip gloss from Fenty. And then last but not least, this Bite Beauty um, lip crayon in the shade Hard Cider, which honestly, I thought it was gonna be like a lot darker, but it's, it's kind of pinky on me, but it's one that I can wear without a liner, which is really nice. So anyways, now that the new stuff is out the way, let us get into the foundation. Well, no. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with brows, because why not? Why not start with brows? Why not get this pop in? All right, let's do a little catch up on, you know, why I haven't posted in several weeks, even though I said I was gonna be posting consistently every week in 2020. We all know what's going on. Yeah, it's it's been a lot this year and I did not realize how my anxiety would hit me during this time. It's crazy, it's real. I just had no idea that it was gonna hit like this. You know, being inside all the time because I am working from home. I am very thankful that I have a job that allows me to be able to work from home. I wasn't expecting my anxiety to kind of like go off like this, but it's been difficult to say the least. And I haven't even put on makeup yet. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get some brows on. Yeah, I feel like each week, it's just like a wave of emotions. 
and hopefully other people can relate to what this is like. I mean, if you're doing mentally fine during this pandemic, kudos to you because it is not easy for the rest of us who are struggling mentally during this and trying to figure out like how to navigate and live our lives. It's just not easy. No one has prepared anyone on like, oh yeah, this is how you survive a pandemic. Even though this is not the first time something has swept the the entire world, it's not something that like we're necessarily prepared for. So yeah, it's just crazy. Things that I've been doing to kind of help with my anxiety, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been the best about like a lot of these things, but these are things that I have noticed that when I do them, I am in a much better space mentally and I'm not focused on what's going out there. I'm more focused on what's going out in here. So some things that I'm doing are, I'm going to like parks with friends and socially distancing, of course. Just like having a picnic, that has been really nice and really helpful for me because I am able to just kind of treat life like normal. I think doing things that kind of feel normal are just the best thing um, for people during this time and finding what you can during this crazy time. Just trying to do things that like help. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's hard to explain. I feel like doing things like, if you like to be by the water or if you like to go on hikes or work out or read books, I think doing activities that can really just like help take your mind off, really disconnect from, you know, the media, I think that's something that's been like really essential for me during this time is that I truly have to like not be on social media all the time. I like, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement, yes, we have made a lot of process, like progress, but still there's a lot of injustice that is still happening to this day at this very moment. And it's heartbreaking. But at the same time, like, I'm not surprised at it because I am black, I live in America, I live in the world, like, I've experienced racism, it's nothing new. But it's a lot to digest when that is all, like, you just see a lot of violence against people of color, against black people on social media, and it makes you feel some type of way, like, it's, it's, it's just hard to take in a lot of that violence and I personally just can't do it. I personally am not able to look at people getting murdered on social media. Like it's, first of all, it's not natural to just go on social media and see people die. Like that's not, that shouldn't be a normal thing, but it is. And unfortunately, like, it is how we find out the injustices. In a lot of ways, it's really great that we have social media to showcase the injustices that are happening. Like, I'm very thankful to social media that, like, people now are more awake than ever. Not everyone, but a lot more are awake to understanding that like black people have been dealing with some stupidity for over 400 years. And it just doesn't make sense. Why? You know, like we shouldn't have to be dealing with this, but we are. And that is the reality of the situation is that we are dealing with racism, injustice, being killed for what? You know, like it's not fair, it's not right, it's not just, but that is the reality of the situation. And I'm very thankful 
that more people are aware and are able to get a glimpse into what it's like to be black today. Like I'm glad that people are able to finally see, yeah, this is not okay. The world is definitely more awake to what is going on, which very thankful for. But at the same time, it's a lot to go on social media and, and continue to see this violence. It really does a number on your mental health. It can be scary because it's just like, you see these people and you have to make yourself realize like these are real people who are dying. These are real people who are being hurt, being beat up, being thrown in jail for, for what? When are we going to stop and realize that people should be treated like people and no one should be above another person? Like it just doesn't make sense to me why some people think it is their job to be like well this is who's over this person and these are the people who have rights and these are the people who don't have rights um both equal and civil rights why it doesn't it just doesn't make sense to me these smashbox brushes are just so good i have the concealer one and the it's the blurring foundation brush and the blurring concealer brush. These two game changers when it comes to blending out your concealer and your foundation. Like it does such a good job. And I'm just like, literally, I'm patting. I'm not swiping, I'm patting. Cause I want that full coverage. Going on social media and constantly seeing that has just been a lot for me and I personally just can't handle it. And so I really have to be careful like what I'm consuming online because I noticed that the things that I consume in this world really can affect my mood. And I am the type of person who, when I see something that is not right, I'm not gonna just stay silent. That's just not who I am. That's never been who I was. I'm very much a person who, if I see something that's not right, like I'm gonna say something. I've never been a person who just sits there and is just like, oh yeah, like this injustice is happening. Let me just sit here and not do my part to help. That's not me. I've never been that way. I am not about that, never been who I was or who I am. So I really had to take breaks on social media because I personally can't handle seeing all that violence. And I know it's still there. And I'm doing my part to like educate myself and to learn more and grow in areas. Cause, cause although I am black, it doesn't mean that I know every every single thing there is like trust i am not an expert in life like i'm just not i don't claim to be that's just not reality hun you know it's not reality sweetie and so i'm doing my part to learn to read books to educate myself listen to podcasts watch content that you know has its designated time to watch that content. So I am staying aware and understanding, but in terms of like what I'm posting on social media to like bring awareness, I am just posting as much as I can about voting and like not telling you exactly who to vote for because I honestly don't wanna be responsible for telling you like, this is who you should vote for because honestly, if you, want to vote for someone it has to be your best interest in mind and who i vote for i'm trying to vote for my best interest in mind which may not be your best interest in mind Ooh, liking this even more but yeah i've been just telling people to vote not who to vote for because i think it's important to educate yourself on who you're voting for because what might be right for me might not be right for you 
And also, like, I don't live in the same area that everyone else does. So I think it's just important to vote not only at the general election for a president, but also to vote at the local level. You should be voting for your governors. You should be voting for who is your gonna, who is going to be like your representative. These are things that everyone should be voting for. And if you're going to come for me and my edges and wi wigs and stuff like that, please don't. Please. I'm not claiming to be perfect with my my wigs and my edges so don't come for your girl okay we're all staying at home it's not like she's going anywhere so don't judge okay don't judge but yeah i've just been telling people to vote and register to vote because it matters and it helps trying to spend time with friends in moderation trying not to psych myself out when i do spend time with people because it's a lot. It truly is just, it's a lot to go outside. Because some of my like fears is that like, I go outside, I somehow catch it. Because a mask is going to protect you as best as it can, but it's not like foolproof, you know? And it's, it's not like I have an N95, you know, the medical grade equipment that I'm going outside in every single day. You know, when I go grocery shopping or a lot of these things are, you just have to do your part, be careful to the best of your ability, but there's only so much you can do. And my friends have been really great support in being like, you know, just take your time, read, read, listen to positive music. Like for me, I've been listening to a lot more worship music and I've been reading my Bible a lot more and that's definitely helped me. And stretching more and you know, making sure that I am eating healthy foods and eating foods that I also enjoy. I love mango. I think mango is like one of the best things. And so, and because it is summer right now too, I'm like, okay, mango is like the best to eat in the summer. So I've been buying a lot more mango. And the other day I went to the, I went to H Mart and I got some mango. I got some fresh kimchi because I love kimchi and having fermented food is like really good for your immune system, your health, your gut health. And so I was like, okay, these are things that I'm going to do to like help myself, make myself feel better through food. I've also discovered that there's, ooh, I don't have a lot of room here. So my leg is like falling asleep, but I've also discovered that there's like beaches in Colorado that I can go to, so <laughs> I'm very excited <laughs> to be able to like finally be around water because I am a person who just like loves water. Like I love being around water. It is just so calming to me and so relaxing. I love it. Ooh, this mascara is good. Oh my gosh. I like mascara that's like very voluminous very black i want you to see my lashes girl like look at that tart wow i never knew what else have i been doing i've been watching a lot of i've been watching a lot of anime because i love anime some of them i've been watching are haikyuu my hero academia black clover fire force I'm trying to think of what else I'm, I think I'm gonna watch Baruto because I loved Naruto and I loved Naruto Shippuden. So yeah, in case you didn't know, I love anime. I will probably do a video on like all my favorite shows that I've watched during this time. I have a lot of TV recommendations and like podcasts that I listen to that are funny. Wow, this mascara. Okay. I am, I am shook because I usually use the in past like makeup videos. I've used the Lancome Grandiose Mascara, which is like, honestly, my favorite. But this one's my new favorite because Lancome is not cruelty-free. I'm really trying to make sure that I utilize cruelty-free products. So some of them in here, like the MAC, I know MAC is not cruelty-free, but the rest of these products like Fenty and Pixie, ColourPop, Too Faced, Cover FX, Milk, Super Goo, Bite Beauty are cruelty free. So great. I'm also really loving this look. Oh my gosh. 
I haven't done makeup in a minute. Like, I didn't practice any of this at all. I mean, when I'm doing makeup on here, I'm never really, I never practice it beforehand. I just do it on here and hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? Wow. This came out so good. I'm very, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, I'm very happy with how this makeup came out. It came out so cute. Oh, I love it. It looks really good. Especially this lip combo. I use the ColourPop BFF3 as well as, yeah, Single by Fenty. And the Bite Beauty in Hard Cider over top. And then the Clear Gloss by Fenty. This, it's like a nice little pink moment but it like works it works so well and then obviously like pretty subtle on the eyes didn't go crazy just did like mascara liner and that's about it and then obviously just like the base Ooh, ooh, your girl is feeling her oh anyways what else have I been doing since I've been like MIA on here? I've done quite a bit of shopping. I bought some plants. One of them is like right next to me. It's actually a really cool plant, but I am trying to keep it alive. See me and my plant. Like the ones at the base are kind of dying, which is not great, but I got a humidifier. I bought a humidifier the other day for it. I'm just trying to keep this plant alive because I want it to live, but it's kind of dying on me, which is not my favorite thing. This plant has just been a little bit cold in my room, so, and it doesn't like to be cold, which is probably why. I'm almost killing it, but I'm I'm bringing it back to life. I'm bringing it back to life. I'm doing what I can to keep this really beautiful plant alive. <sighs> yeah, so I bought plants. I got an air purifier, which is right next to me, and been loving that I have an air purifier. I think it's the greatest thing. I've been buying like some sustainable products that I will share soon with you guys. And yeah, just watching a lot of anime. I've been baking quite a lot of banana bread for people and it's a hit. Everybody loves my banana bread. I just use this recipe off Food Network, but, and I've shared the recipe with everybody, but people be liking my bread and stuff. So I also got a KitchenAid for my birthday. So that's really exciting. So I'm excited to like bake more. I got this really nice dress, which you can't really see. It's really like long and flowy. It's cute. It's a cute little moment. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, seeing friends, trying to stay off of the of social media as much as I can because it's just a lot to take in with everything that's going on. I'm just like, my mental health is very important to me. And so, and because like, if it's something that's really troubling, it can cause me anxiety. I can allow it to cause me anxiety. And so I just have to choose what I put my energy into and what I give my energy to so that I'm making sure that I'm taking care of myself to the best of my ability. I've been talking a lot to family as well, I'm staying connected with them, keeping people in my life, talking with friends, uh, seeing friends, obviously doing my best to social distance, you know, through it all, wearing masks and stuff like that. But yeah, that. That's kind of why I've been gone for a couple weeks. I have a lot of videos in the pipeline. I just haven't edited them because there a lot of them are vlogs and they just take a little bit more work to edit and upload. Uh, whereas like a sit down video and I'm talking to you guys, it's just a lot easier to edit and upload and just, yeah, be done type of thing. So I wanted to throw something up and do a little bit of a catch up. I know this was kind of all over the place, but hopefully I'm not going to promise that I'm going to post every single week because honestly, with the way that this year has been going, not just for myself, but all of us over the world, 
everything's just really unexpected and I am just trying to go with the flow and do what is best for me and what is healthiest for me in that moment. So if there are days or weeks, <laughs> actually weeks that I'm not posting, that's fine. I'm not going to pressure myself. I'm just going to post when I can and go from there. That's that's kind of where I've been at. Just chilling, trying to rest and relax, having a lot of spa days and like doing a lot of masking. I wish I could get a massage. I wish I could do acupuncture, even though I've never done acupuncture or cupping. I've never done cupping either. I wish I could do all those things to like really just like relieve the tension, but I don't have access to that, so I'm just doing what I can to help myself just be off and not always be on. Yeah, and doing what's important to me. So that is what I've been doing, trying to get my life together, essentially, during this time. I know it is not easy, it is very difficult, and I know I'm not the only one. That's where I've been. That's what's been going on with me, just trying to have a peace of mind and navigate this new normal due to the pandemic that we are in. I am still hopeful that we can maybe not go back to exactly what we have had before, but that we can move forward in a way that is healthy and beneficial to all of us and that we're thinking of others instead of just thinking of our own selves, taking time for ourselves and for the people who give us life, pouring in and pouring out into things that are life-giving. I think that is the most important thing for me, something that I've learned and something that I am hopefully going to continue doing on my journey of self-care and making sure that I am, you know, running at my top level at the best of the best that I can be because that is absolutely essential. I want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself so that I can be able to take care of others. But anyways, look forward to more vlogs coming up. I have some more moving vlogs that are going to be coming in the pipeline as well as like a work from home vlog, what it's been like during this time of working from home. I'm trying to choose like more exciting days when I'm working from home just because literally it's me just like getting up getting on my laptop making food here and there taking breaks when i need to but yeah it's not super super exciting i just want to make it as like fun as possible if i am showing my work from home vlog yeah and if you don't follow me on uh instagram please follow me on instagram it's at jasmine rosette same name as i go by on youtube it is on Instagram as well. I post way more over there on my stories, definitely way more active on Instagram. So if you want to see more of me, follow me on Instagram at Jasmine Rosette. Subscribe to this video so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video. Comment down below, say hi. I say hi back. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one whenever that is. And I hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you are. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.